Welcome to the homework for lesson 10. This is module 5 of first grade. Get your name on here first, please. And it says match each clock to the time it shows. So we're just looking at, in, in first grade, we just work on o'clock times. So we're going to have a shorthand, which is going to point to the hour, and a minute hand, which is going to point to, for us, all of these are going to have, are going to be pointing straight up at the 12, because that's kind of zero for the, for the clock. So this is going to be our minute hand. And one of the tricks uh, that helps you remember whether you're looking at minutes or hours for which hand is the long hand is minute is a longer word. So it takes the longer hand, the longer hand for the clock is the minute hand, and hour is a shorter word. So that's the shorter hand. That's a little memory key that might help you remember which hand is which. Although for first grade, all you have to really keep in mind is that it it's the hand that's not pointing at the twelve, is the one that tells you what time it is. So. We're just looking for hours now. Uh, so this, one of the ways to do this is if you're looking at digital time. This tells you 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Now, these numbers here are usually not double zeros in real life. Most of the time they're not. But um, this, is, this is always tells you what hour it is and these two numbers tell you what what minute it is which is what the, the long hand will, will tell you on a round clock face we're just going to match up I'm going to have to zoom out to show the whole page here this one shows the hour hand pointing let me zoom out. You've got to be able to see this, right? So this shows pointing at the 2. So that's 2 o'clock. So we're going to match this clock face all the way down here to the bottom where it says 2 o'clock. And then the digital time is 200, 2 o'clock. Zero, zero, and now this one is pointing, this one has our hand pointing at the 7. So we want 7 o'clock, which is right next to it. And then 700, zero, digital time, is 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock and 0 minutes. Uh, this has the hour hand pointing right at the 11. Remember that 12 is going to be the longer hand. That's usually the hand that's going to actually touch the number on the clock face. The shorter hand, the hour hand, is the one that's, that you're looking at to tell you what o'clock it is. So that's 11 o'clock. And then here's digital time, 11, 0, 0, 11 o'clock. Uh, this has, that's the 12, so that's the minute hand. So we want to look at the other one to tell us what o'clock it is. It's pointing at the four, so that's four o'clock. And then four zero zero, that's the digital time down here. That's going to get us all the way up to four o'clock. And here again, looking at the shorter hand, it tells us the hour. Ten o'clock, it's pointing at the ten, so that's ten o'clock. And then ten zero zero up here, that's ten o'clock. And then this has us looking the shorter hand, looking at pointing at the three. That makes tells us it's three o'clock. And then three zero zero three o'clock. So here's the whole thing. You see it all at once. It's going to look like kind of like a plate of spaghetti, but that's how it works out. And now we're going to look at some more. Putting the hour hand on the clock so that the clock matches the time. And then write the time on the line. So here it says 6 o'clock. That's already done for you and, and it's already written out. 6 o'clock is the time. 
It's always going to be 6 with a colon like this, and then 0, 0, 0, 0, just for regular o'clock with no more minutes, just 6 o'clock. And then the hand, the short hand, is going to point at the 6 for 6 o'clock. Now looking at the next one, it says make it 9 o'clock. So that means our hour hand has to point at the 9 there, and we're going to write 9 o'clock just like that, 9, 0, 0. 12 o'clock, well, guess what? The hour hand points at the 12, too, so it's going to, you're not going to be able to see it in a, on a regular clock because it's going to be covered by the minute hand. Or it's going to be on top of the minute hand, it's going to look, you're not going to be able to really notice it because it's going to look like it's just, there's just one clock hand. But that's where it goes. And so it's 12, 0, 0. And 7 o'clock, we need the hour hand to point at the 7. Keep it a little bit shorter. Make sure it's not as long as the minute hand. And then 7 with a colon, 0, 0. And then here now, 1 o'clock, short hand points at the 1. And it's 1 colon, 0, 0. 1 o'clock.